How did you find out you were getting cheated on? A flirty text from a guy popped up on while we were looking at her phone for a place to eat. He complimented a picture I had just taken of her. She sent it to him while around me. Bold. Also this happened in the Eiffel Tower. Only a couple of hours into what was supposed to be two-week vacation. Painfully long two-week vacation. He gave me his phone to hold while he was having a minor medical procedure and while in the waiting room. A text came through. It said something like, Ha! Huh, so we can doth the deed again? And I was totally confused. So I scrolled up through the text thread and read, I'm sorry if you feel guilty. And, No, I'd only feel guilty if I still loved her. And that was the end of that relationship. I didn't know at the time we broke up. For sure. But she was engaged a week after we broke up. I can't even figure out how that worked. Exactly. We broke up before I found out too in my head I thought the six year long relationship just ran its course and I was even happy. I felt I was gaining a true lifelong friend. Two weeks later I get a call from the other woman. She flew him out across the country to meet her parents. He gets there and decides he doesn't want to date her. Out of spite. She calls me and tells me about their three years long affair. I still need a therapist to unpack that sheet. Edit. Really didn't expect so much support on this comment. Truly appreciate the validation and kindness everyone has shown. The other woman knocked on my front door and asked me to take my kid and get out so that the two of them could be together and be happy. I told her she could have him. But they'd have to go because technically I own the house. I then told him he was free to go. He did not go. Sadly, she'd been dropped off by her ex who she cheated on with my ex-husband. That was quite awkward. He hooked up with random girls when he was supposed to be at his mom. One evening at a friend's party, there was a girl who wasn't of our group, a friend of a friend, she went. Oh, hi. Remember me. It was so fun. That makes me want to throw the duck up. I was pregnant and they were doing the standard tests including STDs and I tested positive for chlamydia. I was so embarrassed. But glad to have found out because it turns out that can really mess up a pregnancy. Still took me another year to file for divorce though. Edit, since this seems to have confused many people somehow. I was married. My husband got caught cheating on me while pregnant. I forgave him. He came clean. I forgave him and he did it a few more times and we got a divorce. I don't know how this implies that I had a kid by another man. Don't wipe properly. Did but stuff. Had a false positive. I was clear during my pregnancy test. Only person I had six with, unprotected at that, was him. While I was still pregnant, all subsequent six was protected. Got tested before getting an IUD inserted. And had chlamydia. He denied cheating while I was pregnant. But you don't just randomly spawn chlamydia. Man. And that was the only time that I would have been exposed. Phone bill. She was texting some random number 600 times a month. I thought I recognized the number, and when I put it in my phone it was a buddy of mine. This is actually how it started for me. I was looking at revising our phone plan to one with less data and happened to notice a massive amount of texts on her line. Dug into the records and found it was to a co-worker. About 48 hours later I got home from work, night shift, and she wasn't home took a random guest and drove to their office at 4 a.m. for some reason. Common ground made sense. Found them both in the parking lot. She stopped giving me hugs. Sometimes you just know. Duck guys. Thanks for all the love. Together for about eight years. Married for only three. Crazy story but we were living in an abusive scenario with another person and she was what was keeping me sane. 
It was rough to realize she was cheating on me with this guy. I feel better now. Definitely learned over time that questioning yourself and spending time wondering what you could have done different is essentially pointless. This is the saddest one so far. Went on a solo road trip to CA from New York. My then BF of 5 years was supposed to fly to San Diego when I arrived. Then we drive home together. Pick him up from the airport. Use his phone to pull up directions for our restaurant reservation. He gets a notification from a social media app he must have forgotten to delete. I ask him about it. He grabs his phone and deletes the app. Says it would hurt me more to read the conversations he'd been having with women. And then I'm obviously going to dump him either way so he wanted to save himself the embarrassment of getting exposed. I made him call his mom and arrange to have his stuff moved out of our apartment. Told him to find his own way home. Finished the road trip home without him. When I got home it was like he'd never lived there. Exactly how I wanted. Two interesting ones from close friends. Friend's neighbor looked into her house from the second floor and saw him ducking the nanny. They are currently in divorce proceedings, though he's still dating the nanny. The more interesting one is a friend was headed to Thanksgiving with her husband when she got a text from a woman saying, Your husband has been ducking me and several other women, then gave a list of the women. She was aghast. Not sure what to do. Then the woman sent pics as evidence. The woman was hissed as he had promised her he would spend Thanksgiving with her instead of his wife slash my friend. My friend divorced him. Her roommates called and asked me to meet them for lunch. Said it was important. I met them and they told me she had been cheating on me with her ex the entire time I was deployed. They showed me pictures, back when you had to get pictures developed. They said I was a good man and I didn't deserve to be treated like that. They had collected my things that morning when she left for work and gave them to me. I drove to her work, walked up to her, showed her the pictures and demanded the ring back. She gave it to me and I left. Later she called me yelling about me, conspiring with her roommates, basically trying to make it my fault. She asked what I was doing meeting with them. I said, it's called respect and closure and it sounds like this. I unplugged the phone, landline. Waited an hour plugged in the phone and called the phone company. Said I needed to change my number and never heard from her again. I took it really rough and am thankful for her roommates and the friends that got me through probably the darkest time of my life. The guy shot me a message on social media. Said he was sorry and didn't know she was in a relationship. I bumped into him at a bar years later and bought him a drink. This is exactly what happened to me. Got a message from the other person letting me know what had happened. And that my, now ex, had told them we were broken up. When they found out the truth, they immediately ended it and let me know. My ex-wife had that part covered. Had the affair with a guy in a city 45 minutes away and snuck onto his social media accounts and blocked me so we'd never accidentally cross paths. Typical dude isn't gonna look at that stuff. Maybe a good idea to look at that list sometimes. Edit, for everyone curious about how I caught her. She thought out a lot of it, excuses, logistics, and she's a fantastic liar. But she screwed up on little things and she's disorganized with her stuff in general. Like kind of a slob. There was a bag she took to a friend's house that she never unpacked. It was actually sitting open in the closet and I looked down in it while hanging something up and there was a sixth toy plainly visible. I started snooping after that and found some other signs. Of course I started going through her Facebook feed from my account and I noticed a few times she tagged someone in a post. But the name wasn't a link and he didn't show up when I searched him. She admitted that she blocked me from his account after I was confronting her about everything. I had basically deleted Facebook years earlier scrubbed some personal info and hadn't been on it in years. But it still had my picture and said I was married to her, so she didn't try messing with it on my end. Figured the odds that I would snoop were low, and she would have been right if she hadn't screwed up. 
She really wanted to make sure the other guy didn't come across my profile considering how many mutual friends the wife and I had. This was a long time ago before social media. I went to check my email on his computer and his instant messenger popped up. He ex-girlfriend, couldn't wait to finally see him next week. That long distance has been awful and can't wait to reconnect. He told me they broke up. They did not. He did not tell her about me or that we were living together. I was suddenly homeless. She did fly in the next week and gave the ring back I did not know they were engaged. Thought they had broken up. Yeah good times. Edit left off the part that I was supposed to be a summer fling but we were in a motorcycle accident which I had 5 surgeries and he had a new femur replacement. He somehow forgot to tell his fiancée about my part in this and the subsequent lawsuit. Situations like this baffle me. How did he think he was going to keep up with the ruse while married and also living with someone else? How long did he think it would last? I really think people like this don't think things through because they get their energy slash power from the thrill of it. Me and the other two guys I worked with had it come up in conversation. She told guy A that me and her had broken up. And she told guy B that I gave her a pass while I was on vacation. You think she would have learned. Found out a few years later she did the same thing with a couple guys at the gym she was working at, at the time. Those two guys showed up at her house to call her out on it. My ex started a job in my hometown. Pretty far from where we lived. She was going to dinner and snuggling her work boss slash boyfriend in a restaurant where a couple people I went to high school with would spend time. So of course one of them saw her and told me. She wasn't very bright. I had a lump appear on my big dig. It grew bigger and very painful to the point I was crying myself to sleep. Went to the doctors and they told me I had syphilis. He had no symptoms and no sympathy. A week later we had an appointment at the clinic. We went to the clinic and got the needle then a week later the clinic called and asked if I had talked to my then boyfriend about his results. I called him at work and he said we will talk about it when he got home. I yelled and said tell me now. He had gonorrhea. He had gotten it in the weeks since I had been to the doctors after he infected me. Once again. No symptoms. Cheaters are AZ holes. Cheaters who also don't use protection and infect their loyal partners are scum. This is a complicated one. Me and my ex-boyfriend were closeted. He got drunk. He slept with someone else. He felt guilty. Didn't have anyone to talk to. Told one of our mutual friends that he slept with someone as a way of talking it out, without exposing that we were in a relationship or that he cheated. That friend told me that he slept with someone. Commenced me yelling at him in the middle of suburbia like a trashy reality TV show. I worked a lot to support my little family. She complained that I worked too much. I came home early to surprise her. But had forgot my key to the apartment. I called her and said surprise I'm home. She said really, I thought because she was happy I was home but realized after the fact it's because she had her boyfriend there. Once I got to the door I knocked and knocked. I called her and she wouldn't answer. I was able to peek through a part of the blind to see her helping him climb in the hallway closet. I left and went to drive around. I was in shock. She called me wanting to know where I had went. She was in the bathroom. I told her I knew and she didn't confess until the next day. She ended up deciding she was too young to be a wife and mom and left us. I was 19 then and instantly became a single parent. Single dad for 18 years due to similar circumstances. Neighbors told me after the fact that they would see dudes climbing out the window sometimes as I was getting home from work. She ended up walking out on me and the kids. Ironically, some of my best memories of being a parent was being flat broke. She took everything we owned and emptied the bank account, raising two little kids by myself without a pot to piss in. Was working late until 1am and always called my ex on the way home because she would stay up to hear about my day. 
asked her what she was doing and she said laying in bed but I could hear people talking in the background. Believed her at first but her house was literally on the same street I took home and her car wasn't out front so I stopped by and texted I'm on the front porch and she should come out to say hi. Her mom happens to be awake and sees me on the porch then comes out and says, she told me she was with you. Turns out she was with my best friend that lived with me for four years but had recently moved out. He ducked one of our friends the day before he proposed and found out from her a month before we were going to get married. I had to pick out flowers for the wedding the day after I found out and felt so mortified and sad. After I left the florists, I canceled the wedding. I was dumb and tried to work it out with him cause I was with him for 10 plus years. He was physically and emotionally abusive so I had a hard time leaving. After a few months of feeling awful and going to therapy I finally left. Came home after working a 16 hour shift. It's 3 AM. I sneak in without turning on any lights so I don't wake her. Her phone lights up. It's a text. I wish you were in my arms again tonight. I recognize the number. It's my boss. She said I wasn't there for her because I was working too much. I was cover shifts for my boss who said he was going through some sheet. I threw her out that night. I didn't even let her get dressed. Out the front door. Naked as the day she was born. The regional manager found out and fired my boss. Then called to have him blacklisted at all the places he had sway. What a legend of a regional manager. People who have your back like that are few and far in between. One of my managers at my previous workplace tried to turn my team against me and fire me. I skipped him and complained to his boss. Safe to say, I didn't get the boot. He threw a rave that I couldn't go to and apparently he was running around the party. Hi I'm Molly. Loudly asking everyone how to get rid of a hickey. One of the DJs is a stand-up gentleman and a friend of mine and he had the kindness to tell me. My other friends had their heads in the sand or elsewhere and didn't raise an eyebrow when they heard him talking about a hall pass for the weekend, which is definitely not what we were about. I can't believe I wasted so much time with that 35-year-old man baby who ended up ducking around with a 20-year-old meth-faced chick. And then when she didn't want to duck him anymore he got her bounced out of a club by knocking on her for her fake ID. I am so much happier without him and I'm glad he didn't give me a ton of diseases. Kind of funny. But we just had a wonderful night and with a homemade dinner and some games and we settled in on the couch for some late night trash TV. I don't know if anyone's familiar with this show, but in my area, the show Cheaters was a guilty pleasure of mine. We were about halfway through an episode when he excused himself by saying he wanted to go grab some snacks and drinks from the gas station. I innocently believed him. So after a few minutes, he had messaged me confessing to have cheated on me with a coworker, just out of nowhere, no signs, no major changes in behavior. Nothing. Initially. I thought he was joking. So I kept ribbing him and not taking it seriously. Until he became more insistent. He didn't stop seeing this person. Even though he was remorseful and wanted to stay married. But the cheating continued. Many. Many times over. He ended up leaving on his own. And it was the best thing he ever did for the both of us wherever you are in life. Tim, I hope you're happy and not the same person you were when we were married. I never want to see or hear from you again. But I am a very different and happier, healthier person than I was when I was with you. May you be happy, loved, fulfilled, and respectful in your relationships. And stay the duck away from me and my family. Had a gut feeling something was going on and checked my security cameras. Her co-worker would come over after I left, and they would spend the morning together. Not sure which was worse. That he was in my bed with my wife or petting my dog. We struggled for a few years after, and she abused alcohol severely. I filed for divorce and two months afterwards she committed suicide. I've fully moved on and happily remarried.
dealt with a lot of PTSD related to that relationship, but I feel I'm in a way better place physically and emotionally. You should know that anytime you have thoughts of self-harm, there is always someone to talk to. Peace and love to you all out there. Was bored at work and loaded up Facebook for the first time in a long time. Saw a message from a year ago from someone I did not know claiming her boyfriend had sex with my then girlfriend. I didn't believe her and asked my GF if she knew this girl and she said she hadn't. I told the girl I didn't believe her until her ex-boyfriend who slept with my GF messaged me with proof. Apparently it happened right before my GF got into pharmacy school and I moved with her to a city I didn't want to live in to work two jobs to support us. Confronted me ex when I got home and she admitted to everything. I asked if there were any others and she admitted she had cheated multiple times with multiple people across the five years we were together. Friends of hers I had met and helped out multiple times. Every few months she messages me asking if I would ever imagine getting back together. No I would not. We were in a movie and Harrison Ford realized his wife was cheating and my husband's body language spoke loudly. Damn he was that obvious? There's a certain deliciousness to you getting to watch him visibly squirm. Yes. He had been holding my hand. Sharing popcorn. He reacted too quickly and pulled away. I instantly knew. Years later he admitted he cheated on everyone he ever dated. We have been divorced since 1994. Married for 15 years. Except for two wonderful children. I'm glad we divorced. He was an abusive, narcissist, alcoholic. College girlfriend. She said she was hanging out with her friend, Kenny. I knew Kenny a little bit and being a trusting guy. I didn't think anything of it. A couple days later I was helping her put her laundry away and found Kenny's shirt. She explained it away as innocent and I gave her the benefit of the doubt. As I didn't think anyone cheating would be that stupid to be caught cheating so easily. I casually brought this up to a mutual friend the girl. Kenny and I, I was still a little suspicious. They were like, yeah, she's definitely banging Kenny and has been for your entire relationship. Apparently everyone knew except me and my friends just didn't know how to tell me. To this day, I still think my friends not telling me the girl was cheating hurt more than the actual cheating. Back in the days before Netflix and WhatsApp, my BF and I were students at different universities, and he was staying over my house for the weekend. We were watching a show or movie on his laptop, and when he went to the bathroom, a message popped up on the corner of the screen, I am style. Who remembers those? From one of his friends telling my BF that Katie was really upset with my BF for coming to see me cause she's been nothing but loyal to him. I don't condone my behavior. I was young and foolish. But that bastard got a good punch to the chest and all his clothes thrown out of my window. Edit a word. She was really uneasy when I seen her message certain people or her open snaps from people in front of me. I then had a few mates contact me telling me who was who and what she had been doing. I was with her at the point and she's crying, claiming she didn't know those people and what not. So later that night I go on her phone while she's asleep, cause it's going mental with notifications, and find some guy ringing her and sending dick pics asking if she is able to get some time to send back. I dig deeper and find it's been going on for well over a year. Meeting her exes, sending nudes, sexting. Even went to meet a guy while I was at her house when she claimed she was going to the shop. I woke her up trying to kick her out but she refused. A few days later she's shagging my friend and got a new boyfriend after almost two years of being together. It's been nearly four years and haven't felt the embrace of another girl since. Downloaded an app onto his phone that retrieves all deleted texts within the last 90 days. This was after I was using a MacBook we shared for work. And he got an eye message that said, Okay this is our story if they ask why I sent you a picture like that. He worked with her, and she sent him a spicy picture that their mutual co-worker saw her do, 
They all knew me as well so I guess she made up a story. I confronted him, and he called me crazy. Said he loved me more than anything and couldn't even think of another woman in that way. LOL I'm so dumb. I confronted her, and she swore nothing happened and they were just friends, so I got suspicious. I bumped into her sometime later and said hello in a friendly way. We chatted and before we parted she said to me, He's a really bad guy. I hope you know. I smiled, gave her a hug and moved on. I hope she's doing well. I'm not sorry about invading his privacy. It gave me the strength to leave. He was sexually, emotionally, verbally and at times even physically abusive. I'm still messed up because of the sexual abuse years later. It is what it is. Three times, different women overseas. I was overseas in the military, and she told me after saying, she has needs, so now I joke. My big dig couldn't reach across the ocean. Random thought, was sleeping with her in her bed woke up randomly checked her phone. We had each other's passwords, and saw, Hey babe can't wait to see that sexy as of yours again. No other MSGS and had notifications turned off. Still no idea why slash how I knew to check at that exact time but thank god I did. Didn't know, after we talked about being exclusive. Found her talking to a dude on Tinder about meeting up in the reflection of my car window on the way to a resort for the weekend. I wasn't trying to snoop I was trying to be cute and make faces at her. I just drove her back to her parents' house and took my buddy instead. She claimed. She didn't know I was being serious about exclusivity. Bitch we have been at this game for 3 years WTF did you think I was joking about it? She wanted to be friends with some guy at her work. At the time I just shrugged it off. Like yeah cool. He seems nice. What was a friendship turned into a crush and she started crushing on him. I didn't see it though. She worked late so it was normal for her to be out late. The day before my birthday she said she fell asleep at a friend's house. I didn't think much of it just glad she was safe since I didn't hear from her from the night before. Few weeks later after our break she admits to getting drunk and not remembering what happened. She broke my heart but I love this woman with all my heart and I stupidly took her back hell I even proposed months later because all I wanted to do was be with her and be there for her. Fast forward a few years later and I never really dealt with it in a healthy way and our relationship deteriorated. Now we're broken up and watching her leave my life broke something in me. Like I'm better now but duck it still hurts and plagues me till this day. I'm not great but I feel alright. A decade down the tube. The bastard's wife messaged me on messenger. She knew something was up but didn't have concrete proof. I confronted my fiancé. She admitted to it and told me every nasty gruesome detail. I am still trying to live with it to this day. It's hard and I was totally blindsided. There were signs. And she even told me at some point that she was doing it. But I chose to trust her and not dig too deep. Wait. She told you she was cheating and you didn't realize? How does that work? I know I am stupid. She would occasionally accuse me of cheating. First red flag, so when she said that she was cheating and saw my reaction. She said it was just a test or something. It's hard to remember. I remember it really bothering me all day and having her promise me that night that she was not doing that to me. At the time she made it seem like she was very insecure, and it was hard for her to believe that someone could love her for so long. But in reality. She feeling guilt for what she was doing. I think also she wanted me to say I was cheating as well so she wouldn't feel as bad. We were engaged so a part of me didn't want to believe it so I didn't dig further. Me and my fiancé shared our bedroom wall with another tenant. It was two separate apartments but directly next to each other if that makes sense. Anyways when I was at work. The tenant who lived in the other apartment complex texted me asking if me and my fiancé could keep it down in reference to noise being made in bedroom. I texted back that I wasn't home I was at work. Then the tenant replied that someone was in the room with my fiancé if it wasn't me. I left work and sprinted home as I was just 15 minute walk away.
living in Wellington, New Zealand, showed up to the apartment, and my fiancé's clothes were scattered all on the floor, and he was in our bed with one of his employees. I moved all my things out that night when he was at work, and we never spoke or saw each other again. I left the country shortly after. Throw away because he knows and checks my mane still. A friend, who I'll call Jay, of his from three or so years ago had started visiting. Eventually my then BF started taking time that we'd spend together to spend with him. I thought that was okay, because he hadn't seen Jay in so long. One day I saw him walking somewhere, so I had asked if I could walk with him. He told that I could, and we started talking. I noticed that he had a new necklace on. I asked him when he got it, and he told me that Jay bought it for him. At this point I thought it was a little odd, but ignored it. Then, after seemingly going around the block four or five times, he said that he wanted to be friends with benefits. I asked him why, and he simply said it was because he felt like he didn't love me. But he believes he still does a little bit. I told him that I wouldn't be able to handle it. He said fine, and called me by my name. Instead of the nickname he usually called me by, only to talk to his stepsister not too long after and find out that he had been messing around with Jay ever since he started coming over and is now dating Jay. She also introduced me to his ex, who I previously had no idea existed and had also said the same thing to him before getting with me. His ex, whom of which I am now good friends with has agreed with me to never speak to him again. TL, DR boyfriend asked to be friends with benefits turned out to be cheating on me with his friend, and did the same with his other ex when he started flirting with me. Decides to be the crazy person and check her phone after months of her being distant. Cold and our sixth life basically stopping. I found texts that span the last four out of five years of our relationship talking to a guy who she met on a high school trip to London. So many graphic texts. Nudes sent and received and a history of long Skype video calls, this was 2018. Found out the guy moved here to the States and was living in our city. He talked a bunch of shit about how he was gonna fight me and steal her from me, and she told him how hot that would be and she gave him my address and gate code. I broke up with her and had a bit of a freak out, I did not get violent even when she slapped me because I don't hit girls. A week after I dumped her I hear a British man yelling outside of my apartment window at 2am calling for me to come outside. I knew exactly who it was and when I told him, no I'm not fighting you. He called me a poo say and threw a rock at my window which cracked it. That was the final straw and I went downstairs and proceeded to beat the man senseless. I've since moved, met my fiance who is the mother of my beautiful child and I've sobered up and avoid violence at all costs duck that terrible situation. Wife was out of the country and could not use her cell phone so she was using her Facebook messenger to talk with her affair partner. I borrowed her laptop as my old one sucked and she had left Facebook open on there so I was able to see them messaging each other. I always suspected she had a crush on him but didn't think they were actually hooking up. She obviously had been going through and deleting messages on it as there would be big gaps that did not make sense when you read it. I kept checking on and off over the next few days and there was lots of flirting and heart emojis but nothing certain until her last night when she texted him about how she could not wait to get back to work and see him and that she missed him inside her. I almost threw up. Was falling asleep and kept hearing his Android phone go off. I've always owned an iPhone and had no clue how to use the Android. So I pressed on the screen to get it to stop chirping. It was like God was speaking to me because his phone opened right up to Snapchat messages between him and a literal robot woman asking for nudes. 6. Videos. Etc. He lived three hours away so I put all his sheet together in a bag. Threw it at his head to wake him up and demanded he leave immediately. It was 2 a.m and I have zero regrets. Wait, robot woman? It was like a fake spam account using someone else photos clearly. She kept saying the same line over and over, and he legit thought it was a real hot girl. Idiot.
This is a little immature. But it was the first time it happened to me with a girl I dated for four years. This all happened our final year of high school. She posted a picture with him on Instagram. They worked together. So no big deal. She then posted him as her man crush Monday, if you remember those, and called me a couple hours after I saw it. She wanted to go to a movie with him. Her words exactly were, I don't want to break up, but I'm going to a movie with, insert his name, and I promise you I won't do anything worse than kiss him. I was in a loss at the audacity. I told her to go ahead, but I'm done. She called me crying over and over for about an hour. She then made a post about how sad she was to be single, followed by an Instagram post of her art the movies in his lap. That sheet was wild. I got back at her though. She was one of those jealous types who had a list of girls she hated. They all hated her, and I was a bit of a handsome man back in the day. I hooked up with eight different girls that year that she absolutely despised. It was impossible for her to avoid in our small town school. It even got to the point where she started hitting me up trying to get back with me. I wouldn't reply. I would just change my message profile picture to a different one of me with the girls she hated. It all ended with her cussing me out multiple times about it and actually staying with the person she hated the most for the next three years. Turns out she was actually an amazing person and the exact opposite of my ex. Years later after I had forgot about it all and was still dating the girl she hated. My ex messaged me one day out of the blue. Message said, Are you seriously dating her out of spite still? I just told her we genuinely liked each other and she refused to believe it. I left her on read and went on with my life. For some reason it haunted her and she still messaged me years later about it. It was very strange and sad. But she did it to herself. 